Right, I'm going to try not to do this in the future, but this is actually the second time I've recorded this video because of two reasons. One of them is I discovered I uh, said something uh, totally wrong. It doesn't matter that I said things wrong, but I'm trying to speak without editing things, and the only way I could have fixed what I said wrong was to go back and put a bam or something in front of the screen, which I didn't really want to do. So, Rube Goldberg was a comic artist, and he used to uh, have uh, inventions in his comics. It was overly complicated machines to do jobs like this. Self-operating napkin. Wouldn't you think a napkin would be able to operate itself? Well, okay, technically no, but he's got a free hand. He can just grab the napkin up off the table and wipe his face or tuck it into his, tuck it into his shirt or something. There's a heap of things that he can do other than this super, super overly convoluted machine. But... You know how things are. Sometimes you overcomplicate things in your life. It's not necessarily deliberate, but I mean, like look at government websites. You have to go through 50,000 phases of authentication to get into that for them to tell you that you're probably not who you say you are or they can't verify who you say you are. Uh, banks, it's sort of the same sort of thing. Trying to keep our money secure, which I understand and I do appreciate the effort, but sometimes things are just much more difficult than they need to be. Rube Goldberg machine. Sometimes it seems the whole world is that way. So my setup that I have here is a little bit that way. So I have a mic sitting in a shock mount. And the reason it's sitting in a shock mount is so that it doesn't make noise when I thump on the table because I found that every little bit of noise transferred through. But the shock mount's actually not made for this microphone. So at the moment, I've got the packaging for the shock mount stuffed inside the shock mount and then the microphone stuffed inside that. It seems to work adequately for what I'm doing. At the end of the day, you can only see the nub on the end, which is actually off a completely different microphone. I have a bunch coming because we live in a time of COVID and people are being more cautious than they may have been in the past. I've got like 30 little windscreens for microphones coming so that People can have a new windscreen every, every, every time they use a microphone. Well, hopefully they'll choose to use the same windscreen every time they use a microphone. But we're going to interview people. We're going to meet different people. So it would be good to actually have a windscreen for each individual person. And then they there's some pink ones and some black ones and some, I think there's red ones. So they can even choose their color and color code their microphone to their own uh, to their own taste, which, you know, some people might find useful. So anyway, Rube Goldberg machine. These are things that are overly complicated. So this system here, so I've got a camera here, and then there's also one over there. So I've got a couple cameras, but then, you know, as you know, I also still have the one pointed here. So that's three cameras. I just ordered... Um, I ordered another one today because it was very, very cheap. And if I have to do this thing remotely, then I want the people to have a good camera and they can cobble together their own Rube Goldberg machine with the bits that I send them. So here's a little adapter that's used for plugging mini and micro U uh, um, HDMI into a HDMI cable. And then to get a HDMI into a computer, you need one of these things. Now, I managed to buy a bunch of them, like a pack of five of them for less than a hundred bucks. Uh, and everyone said, don't buy cheap ones because they're not that good. But at the end of the day, it was either get stuff into the computer or record it on a card, transfer it to the computer, edit it in post, and then get it out. And that, that workflow is just too extensive for me at this stage with working a full-time job and another business, as well as doing this. So this little doohickey converts HDMI into a USB-A plug. It's a USB 2, so it's fast enough to do 1080. doesn't do 4K, but it does seem to do 1080 just fine. I don't really seem to have any dropped frames. And then I can send people a microphone as well. So these microphones, I think I showed them the other day, got the... USB on them, as well as a H, uh, the XLR. I'm using the XLR into a 
audio recorder now and that's also what my headphones are plugged into for monitoring the uh, audio but this has a little headphone jack on it for monitoring audio so i can send the microphone and the plug and the adapter and possibly a camera to interviewees so they can have decent audio decent video and they can also take the little camera and wander around the place and if if we're talking about a collection or we're talking about their lawn or their house or their kids or their dogs or whatever we happen to be talking about they can actually take videos of that upload it on my google drive so i can actually have uh cutaways to that sort of thing uh but again it gets to be a bit like this my day at my uh, other job was a bit like that everything sort of led from one thing to another it was sort of the, the the one thing knocked over the next thing which which tripped up the next thing which made the next thing not work which then required more other things uh, it, 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 it it's the nature of the universe sometimes it's it, it just sometimes things just get very very complicated but at the end of the day if you have a clear concise goal or at least a clear concise direction in which you're going so if you need to get on the train to get to a particular place and you're a bit late there will always be another train it's well in theory sometimes reassessments need to be weighing, uh, made but you need to put one foot in front of the other move towards your goals whatever those goals happen to be i've taken a very long time to get to this stage but i'm actually really enjoying it I, i'm having fun coming out into my little man cave every night with my six cheap kmart ring lights actually one of them was from a a, a chinese junk shop but with my ring lights i haven't had a chance to sort out any uh, any other audio i'm only out here for 10 minutes a night and that's simply to film these things communicate with you guys uh, upload it to youtube and that's really it other than that i'm working or getting ready to work or hanging out with my family which is another fun thing to do so we're in lockdown can't go anywhere so i might be able to actually put together a slightly more extensive video but again that'll probably get really really convoluted and require far uh, and i'll make it take far more steps than it really needs to take to uh accomplish the end goal um cheers big ears